In this video, we're going to learn how to use oxidation numbers to balance a redox equation. Sometimes when you have trouble balancing an equation and it's really complex, it's because it's a redox reaction. So we're going to learn a method um, that always works. If it's a really simple reaction, you don't need it, but it's useful for some of the more complicated ones. I will do one practice one, and then we'll do several more in class together. So this will just get you started. So the first thing is assign oxidation numbers. Okay, you might want to pause the video and do this yourself, and then check with what I did. All right, so because you, you need some practice, but here I go. Zero, plus one, plus five, minus two, plus four and minus two, plus four and minus two. Okay, plus one and minus two. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify what two things are changing. Okay, tin is changing, and nitrogen is changing. So I'm going to connect them with lines just like that, and then I'm going to write on those lines what's happening. The nitrogen goes from plus 5 to plus 4, so it gained one electron. The tin went from 0 to plus 4, so it lost four electrons. Okay, now I can't have something gain a... Um, one electron and something lose four electrons. The electrons transferred have to be equal. They're the same electrons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these electrons equal by multiplying by some number that make them equal. So I'm going to multiply the top by four and the bottom by one. Okay. And what this number tells me to do is it gives me the coefficient for the equation. It means that there is a one in front of the tin here and the tin here because there was a 1 here. It means that there's a 4 in front of the two compounds that have the nitrogen in it. Okay. And then I'm almost done. All I have to do is I have to take any uh, compound that's not changing and I have to do it by inspection. In other words, by looking at it. But it's usually water and it's usually pretty easy. If I look here, I have 4 H's, so I'm going to put a 2 here. Okay, and if you look, you've got one tin and one tin, four H's and four H's, four N's and four N's, and on this side we've got 12 O's, okay, and over here we have two and eight, and two is 12 O's. So we have successfully balanced this equation. So that's just an example of one, and we'll do a whole bunch together in class tomorrow.